hey y'all welcome back to my channel in this video i'm going to be showing you guys how i did my own feeding cornrows if you want to see how i did it stay tuned and watch i first pre-sectioned my hair and braided it down so i wouldn't have to worry about trying to get my part straight while i was braiding so that's what you see here so i've taken my first section um a loose and now I'm just putting the shining jam in between both sides of my part. And you want to make sure that you get it nice and saturated and smooth because that's what's going to make your parts crisp and make your braids last. And then I just take a comb and comb the product through on both sides as well. Once I'm done combing it through, then I'll take like a small section in the front and part it off and separate that section into three strands. And you want to braid this first piece of hair, um, maybe do like two to three sections. And then you'll want to reach for the next piece of hair. What I do is grab the weave and I put it in between my index finger and my thumb. And then I do a rotation, but I don't pick up any hair. I take my other hand and then I section out the hair that I want to add to the um, previous part of the braid. And then I just add another piece of weave, which I add after each pass. So I'm going to pass it without picking up hair. And then I'm going to take my index finger from my other hand and section off the hair so I can pick it up with my right hand. I hope that makes sense y'all <laughs> if not just um watch closely and you'll see what i mean so here i'm sectioning off the hair that i want to add to the braid with my left hand and then i'm grabbing it with my right hand to do another pass I wanted to do this first braid in as much of real time as possible. I sped up the video a little bit, but not too much. I just wanted you guys to kind of see each pass that I did. I'm also adding shine and jam um, throughout the braid as well. If you pay attention, you'll see me dipping my hand and that's what I'm doing right here. I'm ensuring that this braid is as smooth as possible and sleek as possible. I wanted to add some color to my braids since I'm off and in the house during this quarantine. So I was like, let me just use this um, color hair that I have. So here I'm adding the color underneath the braid and I'm basically just doing the same feed in method that I did before. I wanted a two to three tone ombre. So here you just see me adding more colored hair. I was checking to see where I wanted to add the hair into the braid. And I'm just gonna finish off the braid with this color. I 
all right i'm finally done so here i just kind of sped up the video a little bit more um and picked up when i finished probably about seven eight of the braids so i'm doing another braid i'm doing the same process but i decided to do a different angle and turn around and show you guys from the front And also, don't mind my edges, guys. I kind of combed them forward so I wouldn't be pulling them too tight. And I'm going to um, finish those off once I finish the braids. You'll see towards the end what I mean. all right yes i was so happy to be on this last braid um i always get late night hair inspiration so i recorded this video at like 11 o'clock at night <laughs> so i was pretty tired As y'all can see, I'm ecstatic to be finished. So now to my edges, like I was telling you guys, I'm using the Eben, Eben, however you pronounce it, um, edge control. And I'm just gonna put it all over my edges and take my edge brush and swoop them bad babies in place. Swoop and dupe. And then for a more secure hold, I'm gonna go over the edge control with some of the got to be gel. And I'm just gonna rub it over um, where I swooped my edges just a second ago. And then next I'm gonna take some mousse and I'm gonna rub it all over the braids um, so that I get a more sleek and polished look. Then next I'm sure is everyone's favorite once they get their hair or braids finished. I'm taking some wild growth hair oil and rubbing it um, down my parts. And then I'm gonna take my hair strip to lay my edges while I do the finishing touches which is dipping the hair. I got this kettle from Target a few years back and I really love it. So yeah guys, that's it for this video. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. See you guys in my next video. Mwah.